Hey everyone, it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Uh, welcome back. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you to enter our Trials of Mana giveaway. You can get it on any platform that's releasing. We'll be giving away a digital copy of the game on the final day of this month. To enter, all you have to do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell icon and set it to all notifications. That being said, let's get into the video. Yes, folks, it feels good to be back. Um, been a little bit of wonky with this whole pandemic thing going on, homeschooling. Uh, finding the time I need to do this has been really, really difficult. But I am here, I am back, and we are uh, going to just make this content whenever we can. And today we have a story that I don't actually like um, because it involves Animal Crossing New Horizons in a negative light and kind of a political light. Now, you know we don't talk about politics uh, that much on the channel, but this is important because an entire country has now banned the, both the sales and importation of Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is continuing to blow up, at least based on the Japanese sales charts, over 3 million in sales, all that jazz. Let's just get into the story, and I'm going to use Nintendo Life as the primary source for this because they kind of gathered everything together. Uh, so here we go. So it says, China banned sales of Animal Crossing New Horizons and suspected censorship scuffle. Um, political messages most likely the cause. And as you can see, this is like one of the big images being shared around right now. Free Hong Kong. Uh, it's in the thumbnail. All that jazz. Um, and it says, imported sales of Animal Crossing New Horizons have been banned in China, it has been reported. The instruction filtered through Alibaba's e-commerce platform, Taibao, to sellers yesterday, April 9th, and it's expected to come into full effect today. According to the screenshots posted online by Taobao sellers, the ban impacts not just the game, but all merchandise and related hardware. While no official word has been issued on why the ban has taken place, some have suspected it is related to the fact that the game can be used to share materials online, such as political slogans, that are generally frowned upon by the Chinese government. The game's pattern editing mode permits players to create their own messages and slogans that can be viewed by other players all over the world. Bloomberg is reporting that the game is one of many that is being used to highlight the political struggle in Hong Kong. One of Hong Kong's most famous democracy campaigners, Joshua Wong, tweeted about using the game to share his message. And then in Joshua Wong's tweet, it says, Animal Crossing is fast becoming a new way for Hong Kong protesters to fight democracy. The COVID-19 pandemic has halted public demonstrations. Some protesters are taking their cause to Animal Crossing. This is my island. Um, I play the game. I bought it a few days ago for lots of people around the world who play this game. They have to put their ideal life into the game. And for Hong Kongers, we have to put our protest movement and our protest sites inside the game. Animal Crossing New Horizons isn't officially available in China yet, but Nintendo is partnering with Tencent to bring a special Animal Crossing console to the region. In fact, you can only officially buy three games at the time of writing in China, which has forced many Chinese Nintendo fans to resort to importing games and hardware into the country using services like Taobao and Pinduoduo. Ping West reports the demand for titles like Animal Crossing in China has caused sales of Switch hardware to skyrocket. New Horizons, like many Switch games, has a Chinese language option despite not being officially released in that territory as of yet. It's not known if the game will actually come out in China following this ban, and if it does, it's highly likely that some of its features will be disabled to avoid players using it for online protests. Uh, as an example, they're probably going to uh, require Nintendo to remove the ability to create your own patterns or download other people's patterns uh, or share patterns among people. That are, they might even eliminate a lot of the online features just to be safe now this is entirely uh insane to me now I, obviously you know i don't want to get into the whole political struggle between hong kong and the, and the government of china and all that that's that that's something that people that are much more knowledgeable in the situation can use but i don't like the idea of any government entity entity banning a game over protest now obviously i'm from the united states where protests are legally encouraged and allowed and, and something that we can do within reason and certainly putting a, a protest message in a game would not be something that the united states government uh would really frown that much on yes donald trump might throw out a tweet about it but it's not actually against the law and you are just fine they're not going to get a game banned because people are putting political protests inside a game uh but China's different. They're a lot stricter about things, uh, and obviously we all know about how the government might have been using some sort of minority slave thing happening with their factories and all this. That's why things are so cheap. I don't know. There's a lot of crazy stuff happening in China, uh, but I don't like that Animal Crossing, and this isn't even like the sale of the game. You can't even import the game uh, because people are potentially putting you know political messages in the game, and it's weird because outside of social media, um, these political messages can only really be among people that you're already friends with on Switch that you invite to come to your island. So I don't really get how they're that concerned about it. 
Um, it doesn't make any sense to me at all uh, that they're worried that some people are putting political protest messages on their own island. It's not like these are available to thousands and thousands of people typically. I mean, yeah, it can be shared on social media, but China already cracks down on social media. So I honestly, I, I don't really get the point. Um, people are going to continue to protest and do what they do. Uh, and there's not really much the Chinese government can do to outright stop it, you know, unless they want to start mass killing people with the military. And I don't know that I'd put it past China to do that. But um, yeah, this is just not uh, a, a good situation. And it kind of sucks to see a game that I'm sure even people in China are, are excited to play during a time of, you know, quarantine, even though as their quarantine is slowly being lifted, still there's going to be people without jobs uh, who are still too afraid to go out, especially if, if you're in the Wuhan province. And uh, they're going to want to pass the time away with Animal Crossing, even if it's just the imported version. And uh, it kind of sucks, to be completely honest. And I feel for some of the people uh, there that use video games to escape Um Obviously, this is not going to be an issue for Japan or the United States or, or most of the European countries, but uh, it's a problem in China, and it, it sucks. Um, I, I'm it, This does give me a greater appreciation for where I live, and this isn't me trying to be like, oh, America is so great, and, and we're the best country. Like, that. Nah, I recognize that's not, that's like not even close to the case, but um, we do still have more freedoms than, than certain other uh, major countries out there, including China. And uh, this is just a nice reminder to maybe appreciate where you live right now, uh, that you're able to even watch YouTube videos because there are countries that won't even let you watch YouTube videos. Uh, just be appreciative of what we have in life because a lot of us um, are, you know, we, we have um, a bit more privilege, I guess, than uh, a lot of other places in the world. Uh, and I think a lot of us know that, but we don't think about it that much. You know, we always, you know, there's always that starving kids in Africa uh, thing that goes around to kind of remind us how bad it can get. But um, it, it's still a situation where we need to be a lot more appreciative of the freedoms that many of us do have and, and, and the things we have available to us, you know, whether it's our, our phones or, or switches or, you know, the ability to watch this stuff, this camera, all my equipment. Like, I really appreciate where I am in life as someone who doesn't really have a lot of money and lives paycheck to paycheck. And yet I still have a pretty decent life going for myself here. You know, and kids, I got a good home. I have a loving family. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry for you folks in, in China. This sucks. Um, Hopefully, uh, Nintendo and Tencent can work something out to at least get the game there in some form, even if like online functionality gets banned, which would kill part of the game. But whatever, at least you can still build your own island on your own Switch. <laughs> um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about the story down in the comments below. I get that this is probably going to be um, politicized in some cases for some of you guys. I tried to stay mostly out of the politics of it all, but uh, it's hard when, this, when when politics seem to be very much part of the story. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Remember to enter our Trials of Mana giveaway as well. Otherwise, folks, I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I will catch you in the next video or live stream whenever the hell it happens because I am just as unaware of what's going on right now day to day as the rest of you as i monitor this covid situation as i monitor uh this homeschooling situation and as, as we, we have a religious holiday as well that we celebrate in this house this weekend like just kind of monitoring everything uh and figuring out the best course of action moving forward for the channel uh during these trying times but thank you so much for your support thank you everyone who showed up at our last live stream and dropped massive support there that's been huge for this month considering that my video productions are are, are, are a lot less right now just due to what's going on uh, I just thank you guys for sticking around and, and bothering to even give one view of this video because um, without you guys, I'm just talking to no one, and that's no fun. All right, folks, have a good day.